Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you an exposed module called Force Touch Detector. Force Touch was first introduced by Apple in the MacBook 2015. Force Touch is used to differentiate your touches based on the amount of force you are applying onto the touch screen. So Dave successfully made an effort to bring that Force Touch concepts to Android by his exposed module. So first go ahead and install exposed module called force touch detector from exposed installer so once you're done with that open up the force touch detector here you have two types of configuration that you can make using force touch detectors all rooted android devices are capable of using this module so if you want to check out is your device is capable of using this effectively so first go to settings pointer location under developer options so that you can check whether your device is capable of using this module if pressure and size parameters are changing whenever you touch your screen so then your device is capable of using this module since Zenfone 5 does not recognize the amount of pressure you are applying onto the screen so you can't use pressure configuration under force touch hence you can only play with this size parameter so just go ahead to force touch detector here you can see pressure parameter and size parameter so I am not gonna use pressure as my device is not capable of using that so just head into size parameter so here enable this master switch and open threshold in threshold you are supposed to enter a value after which your system going to detect every touch greater than that value is recognized as a force touch whether it might be pressure or size since i am using size i am supposed to input a size parameter based on which the system can recognize whether it is a normal touch or a forced one First, you are supposed to input a value that is threshold based on your maximum tap size and uh, average forced tap. In size, a tap is based on the amount of area of contact your finger or thumb making with the touch screen. So, I am gonna see what's my maximum normal tap. So tap this 5 or more depends on you and this space tap with your force taps you know it's a for me a normal tap is this and force tap is using the entire face of my thumb here you can see my maximum normal tap is of a value of 0.2 something and my average force tap that is a uh, maximum area of contact what my thumb is making with touch screen is of about 0 0.4103 so threshold must be in between these two values so i'm going to input 0 0.3 or 0 0.32 0.33 might be a better value so i have opted for a 0 0.31 as my threshold value for detection of force touch once you're done with that you have seven predefined gestures or force taps, force actions, so that you can make like force tap, force double tap, force you know, you can reroute that. So you can assign each and every gesture at different shortcuts, apps, or anything you want. So I'm gonna select a force long press for a floating navigation. From now onwards, whenever you touch with the the screen exceeds the threshold value the system gonna recognize it as a force touch and the corresponding actions are made out so let me check out so I'm supposed to make a force long press so normal long press is using you know this is normal long press or this one is a normal long press so what I'm gonna do is a force one I am forcing my thumb against this screen so this makes a force long press and even you can observe whenever you force actions are carried on to screen 
the specified forced actions are displayed. It doesn't matter where you are, forced touch will recognize by the system and the actions are carried out. If you have any suggestions, please do share in the comment section and thumbs up if you like this one.